in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top 10 convenience store frozen treats. So this summer, there's a lot of new frozen treats at the Combini. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys my top 10 so that when you get to the Combini, you get to the frozen aisle, you guys know which ones to choose. Oh, and before we start, hit that subscribe button so you can check out more of my cool videos. All right, I'm hot. You guys are hot. Let's cool down with some frozen treats. Number 10, Super Cup Blueberry Cheesecake. Super Cup is one of the most well-known and cheap ice creams here in Japan. Everywhere you go, you find it, especially vanilla, but blueberry cheesecake is not to be found anywhere but right now. <laughs> what I love about it, it has these like cookie crumbs on the top and it has layers and layers of joy. Let's take the first scoop. Wow, look at that. You have the cookie crumbs on top and then you have the vanilla ice cream and then below that blueberry you have the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Cheesecake delicious. I just love like the combination of the blueberry because it's a really thick blueberry jam jelly kind of thing in there. And then you have the regular vanilla ice cream which is really good. And then you have the cheese flavor and then all of it just combines with the cookie crumble goodness. You can dig and dig and dig and you still have the blueberry flavor. I love it. Number nine. Pablo Mini Ice Bar. Now you've guys seen my previous videos in Harajuku where I had the Pablo Cheesecake. They actually have an ice bar and it's available at the convenience store. The one thing is that it's not actually in like an individual wrapped container, but it's in like in this one box so you might have to finish a few bars to get to it, but it's so damn good, why not? Man. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Look at all those six little bars inside. All right, let's take the first bite. The shell, it looks like it's yellow, but it's actually a chocolate shell. And then on the inside, it's a buttered cookie. And then what's really, really nice is that in the center, there's actually like a cheese sauce and it's so super delicious. So the one thing though is I wouldn't say it's like a direct resemblance of a Pablo tart that you get at the Pablo store, but it's like a nice collaboration between ice cream and the Pablo tart. Pablo, good job. Number eight, Ghana stick. This one is not so new, I've had this before, but it's still one of my favorites. And the reason why it's one of my favorites is because I can't make a decision a lot of the time and I don't know if I want a frozen chocolate ice cream bar or if I want an ice cream sandwich because I love both. And in this way, I can get both. It's a frozen chocolate bar and an ice cream sandwich in one. Look, it's like a huge pokey. I just love the Ghana chocolate. It's actually a little stronger because it's like more of like darker chocolate. So you get like that bitter chocolate. And then it also has like these crunches. So if you ever had like a Nestle's crunch bar, almost like tastes like that. And then the vanilla itself, it's actually pretty silky smooth. It's not too sweet. So it goes well with a bitter chocolate. So like when I eat it, what I usually do is I eat this part first because I don't want to get my hands dirty. And then I flip it over to the final ice cream sandwich part. Mm. It's like your standard ice cream sandwich cookie. It's really soft and almost just like not even a cookie itself. It's more like a, a cake than an actual cookie, uh, but it's so delicious. Number seven, matcha chocolate bar. As you guys know, I always say this every time, but I'm just gonna say it again. You guys know like matcha is not my favorite flavor, but I always got it included for you guys because you know, a lot of you guys like matcha and I wanted to share this with you. So here you go. Try this one. They use Uji Matcha, which is a premium brand of matcha in Kyoto. Open it up like a champion. Look at that. Can you guys see how green this thing is? Almost Ninja Turtle ooze green. I can smell ice, but I can also smell green matcha. It is super 
duper matcha -y. Is it even a word? And again, they have like the crunchy bits. It's like the Nestle chocolate bar. And I love that additional texture. The coating itself, it has like this chocolate, but it's like a chocolate matcha, which is a unique kind of taste. It is a kind of more refined taste. Like this one is a little bitter. I'm okay with it. I like it because like it gives you that like matcha kick. Number six, Pinot Caramel. Check it out, we got Pino in the house. So this is like your version of Japanese frozen ice cream bonbon. So this would be the equivalent. So usually they have different types of flavors throughout the year. This summer they have a caramel flavor that they've released and it's super delish. Check this out. Look at that, six little beautiful Pinot children. And I just love it. And it's not like your actual regular caramel. It's more of like a burnt caramel. So it just makes us taste just a little bitter, but I like it. It's like more kind of like a adult refined caramel taste. Such an exquisite taste. Number five, Aisu no Mi, and it's Koi Momo flavor. Momo means peach, and Koi is more like a very strong or rich taste, so like rich, strong peach flavor. There's actually several other flavors. There's like grape, melon, but Momo is my favorite flavor, so this is why I'm introducing you to this one. And there's 12 little surprises in here. And look, it matches my Tokyo shirt, peach and peach. And what's cool is you can like open this whole bag and like pour it onto a plate, or what you can also do is just like eat it one by one without having to even touch it. See it? It comes out like this little peach ball. That is super sweet. It's like a water balloon that explodes with peach flavor in your mouth. This like came straight from the freezer. So it's like, you know, you would expect a popsicle to be really, really hard. But in fact, this guy is really soft and just like melts. So it has almost kind of like thin ice coating. But then once you just like melt that really quickly, all of it just melts like a liquid. And it's only 110 calories per bag. Number four, Stella Obasa no Cookie Ice Cream Sandwich. So this is Stella Obasan and it's a famous cookie brand here in Japan and they've done a little collaboration and made an ice cream cookie. What's nice is that they've actually have this little like open from the side here. So let's... Oh, so ingenious. Look at this beautiful surprise. Oh, look at that goodness. So the first thing you notice when you take the bite is that the cookie itself is not really hard. It's really soft. The chocolate chips itself are still a little like frozen. So they give it like a nice hard crunch. So it's like a really good consistency. The vanilla itself is not that sweet, but the cookie itself is pretty sweet. So it overall balances out in this just great, awesome taste. Grandma still is wrecking in the dough with this. Number three, Coolish Kalpis. So usually these, this thing comes in a vanilla flavor, but this is Kalpis. And if you guys ever been to Japan, Kalpis sounds like Kalpis, but it's actually a drink here in Japan. It's kind of like a sports drink mixed in with a sour -y taste, like a milk sour taste. Like I've never seen these before outside of Japan. Maybe you guys don't have it. So what you need to do, you actually have to pop this guy open like that. And then you suck everything from this nozzle, but it's kind of frozen inside. So you can't just like eat it right away. What you need to do, kind of like need to mash it up in here so that it kind of liquefies a little bit. And you just suck it like this. Mmm, kind of like a slushy, but yeah. It's super refreshing in the summers. If you're on the go, but you want to like stay cool, try Coolish. Mm. I just love ice cream. Number two, the Choco Mint. One of my favorite desserts is mint chocolate. And look, it says right here, Zaku Zaku. It's like the thing that Michael always says in our food reviews. Ah, let me just open it. Look at that zebra. Looks so good. So refreshing and I love the fact that they like made it like blue color so it almost looks like it's like colder than it really is now, I love mint chocolate just because like you have it and you have like this uh almost like alcohol refreshing like you just had some like listerine in your mouth and just like like cleans you out now, this one it's just like a frozen version of that Andy's mint and it's so super delicious and number one frozen strawberry 
So this is a frozen strawberry dessert. They usually don't have this during the year, but when the summer comes along, they have all these different flavors. They have chocolate and they have cafes, but strawberry is my favorite out of all of them. This one is Machi Cafe, which comes from Lawson. And one thing is that you actually have to put them in the microwave and heat them up in order to get like a frappuccino type flavor. And everything is built in into these ones. But if you go to other convenience stores, they actually have ones where you put them in the coffee machines and they don't actually put coffee in them, but they actually put the hot steamed milk inside and it melts the actual frappuccino and then you like mix it up and it becomes a frappuccino. So right now it's in its like frozen state. Let me microwave it. And there you go. Easy as that. All right, let's open it up. Oh, this look. It's just so delicious. I love this guy. It's like my second child. Oh, your first child. <laughs> Which would leave you to the question, well, do I have a first child? No, I don't. But it would be like if I had a first child somewhere else and this was my second. So you mix it around just like so. You should probably have like the cap for this part, but I want to kind of show you guys how it looks. You take the first sip. Simply amazing. Oh, it's like the perfect summer treat. My favorite of all time. Like a strawberry shake frappuccino. It's just like a lot of love in this cup. And look, you got like this creamy part here. Look at that. It's like almost like an ice cream. Mm. And then you got like pieces of the strawberry kind of jam jelly in here. It mixes so well with the cream and then like the frozen bits and pieces. And on top you have like the sprinkled like cookie crumbs. And when you buy this at the convenience store, they're gonna ask you whether or not you want it microwave. Definitely say yes or you're gonna be stuck with like a frozen block of ice and you won't be able to eat it. And I think I might get diabetes in this video.